For those who say that The Last of Us Part Two is like peak cinematic video game storytelling, I'm, I'm just like, you, you, you know, like Red Dead Redemption Two great. slaughters it in we that respect. Fish. All right, so one of the great things about this here game, Red Dead Redemption Two, is they really give you the feel of being with a group of nomadic drifters. No home to call home. No bed to call your own. Except for this one right here, that's mine. We just moved to place to place, set up our tents, cook food for the night, and we all pitch in, making a bit of money so that Dutch can pursue his plan. Because all he needs is a little money. But yeah, I go with the short-haired Arthur Morgan. I know some people like the long hair. I think keeping it around this length and then cutting it down to a kind of a crew cut works pretty well. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All Jack is John Marston's son. have been son. easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, maybe if John was a better father, I wouldn't have to go play ball with his here boy. Boy. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur Morgan is Kratos. That would be a good one. Don't be sorry, boy. Be better. Hey, lady, you're in my way. But yeah, so this game, maxed out, is still running quite nicely, I've got to say. Oh yeah, so Good, Lemon, well, the, the big thing go with this game is it really feels like you're you're living this life. Now, the first time I ran this game on a PC, I was experimenting with ways I could possibly get Red Dead Redemption 2 to 60 FPS at 4K, and the only way I was able to functionally do it was by SLIing two video cards together, two 2080 Ti's. Down by the shore. It uh, didn't work super Come well, on, so I eventually decided to just get, sell one and just pocket the money and buy a new video card with it, and I just, I got, oh wait, no, 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 I sold it around the time I got the 3090, but I got the 3090 from Jeremy, from Geeks and Gamers Jeremy, which, by the way, Jeremy, thank you, I'm always very appreciative for the RTX 3090. Right. So you see how this game has kind of a vibe for, the, for those who haven't played it where it's almost like watching a western tv show like an hbo why series. did you lie about like where Deadwood. uncle dutch is because, because every mission is just a little scene well, from the show and you get some story you have some gameplay it's varied things like fishing what not they super mean flexible it's where i think metal is gear solid 5 jail? destroys this game no, but I don't, uh, it's very well done so. for those who say that the last of us part two is like peak cinematic video game storytelling I'm, I'm just like you, you, you know, like Red Dead Redemption 2 Great. slaughters it in we that respect. A fish and I made you this necklace. Like it's, it's amazing. Crazy. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece. story. And Did you thank incredible Uncle cinematic Nate. presentation. Like, this game looks beautiful. I don't want to spoil the first game, which is the sequel to this. This is the prequel. <laughs> so that Jack Marston, that little kid, without giving too much away, is the last person whom you play as in the series at any point. I won't say why or how. But you, Jack, as a grown man, you there's a sequence in which you play as him, and then the game ends. It's like a little epilogue with a mission, and the mission's good. It's short, it's just the one mission, and then it's done, but you can keep on doing side stuff as long as you want. But uh, I think that it, it being like 1910, I believe, when Red Dead Redemption ends, I think 1910. It, it, like I think it would be really cool if you send send Jack Marston to World War One and then maybe even do a first person shooter in the Rage Engine and have it just be Jack's story in, in like in the war. I think that would be great. Like with these people writing, I'd like I'd like to see them take that character and be like, yeah, here's how the world changed after it was the frontiers. This is the 1880s, and Red Dead Redemption takes place. Not too long after this, but maybe about 10, 1890s, I think. And then it end, the ending of it is a little bit of a time jump, and that I guess I gave away. It's the time jump, and then you play as adult Jack Marston, and, which I guess, yeah, that's a pretty big spoiler for Red Dead Redemption. But I don't say how it happened, so I guess it's okay, or why. But you should play Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption's a great game. I would recommend playing it on Xbox. <laughs> or a PlayStation 3 that you own because I hate the idea of supporting that bull remaster that they put out.
not too long ago on Switch and PS4, which is like a God, it's a with the word for it. What am I looking for? It's a Metal Gear Solid style, just lazy port. It's just really, really not well done at all. And they didn't release it on PC either, but you can play it play the Xbox 360 version through Xbox um, backwards compatibility on, on an Xbox series system. And it even bumps up the settings quite a bit and upscales it and looks quite nice. So that is, that is the way I would strongly recommend everyone play Red Dead Redemption 1, though the Steam version of Red Dead Redemption 2 is absolutely 100% the way you should play it too. I was like, wait, did I hear a train? Jeez, that, that could have gone bad. Because, I mean, this is a dynamic world, so I might have just been hit by a train. Because <laughs> I didn't look. But yeah, and the reason being, because this is the only version that's 60 FPS. I guess you could argue the Rockstar game launcher or Epic Store version, sure. But I meant the PC port. <laughs> the PC port is the way that you can play this game and have it look and run really nicely. Which is 100% why I want to wait for the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 6. Because I feel like they are 100% going to make Grand Theft Auto 6 a game which runs at 30 FPS, struggling to be alive on PS5 and Xbox Series X. I think it might coincidentally involve a pro-level console happening, although, again, that's one of the things that's like, hey, no PS5 pro mention in the Insomniac leak means maybe that isn't happening. But I think that the reason that that sucks and that they're not trying to charge you an extra $600 to continue playing games that run well is it just means all the games are going to run like and look really nice. And I, I don't want that future for PlayStation players. Even like me being a person who's not on PlayStation nearly as much as I am on PC. So for me, I would want it on PC just for convenience. alone. That's enough for me. However, if you're talking about there being no way to run the game at an acceptable frame rate, on any version of any hardware that you can possibly buy. I'm like, why? Why Why do that? Why handicap your game? It's just like, well, then we can release it again, and it's the actual version that looks and runs like this friggin' beautiful piece of work right here into the future, and we'll only keep looking better and better and better as your computer gets better and better. And hey, actually, here yeah, as as we're maxing this thing out with the DLSS on auto, let's even see. Can we do this with totally rasterized graphics, meaning native, native 4K, no upscaling? Let's see if we're getting any hits. Are we flying too close to the sun with everything maxed? And no anti-aliasing. Oh, well, I'll say this much. The anti-aliasing looks like it's very necessary for the shadows. Let's look at the shadow of my, uh, my gun. I guess maybe just at that angle where it looks a little weird, like the shadows. Ah, uh, maybe that's just the angle I'm looking at. No, no, that is, there's like a, 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 a shadow web between my two long guns. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, this is nitpicking at this point. Like, this game looks insane, even if you're running it in lower settings. Let's use your default anti-aliasing. Yeah, yeah, that does look better. Still kind of looks like a bit of a web, but uh, it's, it's forming much better and looking less... Um, strange so taa is what we're using for anti-aliasing but again yeah we're still at 60 fps running red dead redemption 2 native 4k hooray 4k yeah yeah i do believe i may i didn't exalt it too okay i've got a thing for that we have to have the graphics cranked up you're looking at our cities baby i'm like yeah but can i turn them down a little so that this game doesn't run like my ps5 is dying yeah i will leave you in peace is definitely a better thing to say than legendary gloves son fell into the blade of pinocchio son of Geppetto. real boy also mouse x-ray girl sometimes does joke that she gave birth to the puppies at least i think it's a joke yeah oh my god x-ray girl did it